Hello and welcome to another episode of California Crazy here on Sweet Home California with a little bit of Biden crazy thrown in. So I don't know if you realize this, but the state of California has the highest gasoline taxes in the entire nation. Uh, right now, I think we're somewhere around 51, 53 cents a gallon in just the taxes. Well, Gavin Newsom has decided he wants to put a uh, commission together to study the cause of the high prices. And of course, he wants to lay the blame at the feet of the oil executives as to why we are having such high prices. Um, and the Biden crazy part comes in when uh, Biden, who has laughed at the CEOs of um, you know, the gas companies where their ideas, uh, let's see, they want um, predictable regulation, they want predictable policies, they want um, to know that when they purchase an oil lease that they're able to extract it from the ground, get it from point A to point B, you know, the transportation, uh, a lot of different wrenches have been thrown into um, transportation of the fuel once it gets out of the ground. Of course, there's probably also sorts of things with the refineries. I know that um, American refinery capacity has um, significantly been decreased um, over the years and uh, no new refineries in sight. One of the um, oil executives said that they didn't see the possibility of any new American oil refineries uh, coming anytime soon because it, we're, the political climate is just too hostile to it. So enter Gavin Newsom, highest taxes in, in the country, and he wants to investigate the oil companies as to why gas prices are so high out here. Um, in my little town, uh, when I left there, it was $6.59 at the local Chevron, which is, you know, that's the most expensive in town. The least expensive in town was $6.11, and this is for gasoline. Diesel add at least another dollar to it. And there had been several things that had been bandied about to try and bring down the prices here in California, but nothing has gone anywhere. One of them, I think Newsom's plan was he wanted to give a rebate anywhere. Uh, I think he was planning for $400 per registered car to give back to the people up to two cars per person. So if you own two cars or, or per household, so if you own two cars, then you get 800 dollars if you own four you'd still get eight hundred dollars um and that was limited to you couldn't make more than one hundred twenty five thousand dollars in order to get that rebate for um the legislature though they didn't want it to be tied to actually owning a car they just wanted to give two hundred dollars to everyone <laughs> uh yeah that that makes a whole lot of sense um how about we just have a discount at the pump? That way, the more you drive, the more you save, right? Maybe a tax holiday. Uh, 53 cents a gallon would certainly do quite a bit. It would do more than what Biden is proposing. He's proposing, a, I think, a three-month federal gas tax holiday. But the federal gas tax is, I want to say, is like 13 to 16 cents. It, 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 wasn't, it definitely wasn't more than than 18 cents, I don't remember exactly. That's somewhere between 13 and 16 cents a gallon. So um, again, every little bit helps, um, but Biden's plan is that uh, he doesn't want it to hurt the highway infrastructure fund because that's where that money goes. So he wants to suspend the tax, but yet not remove any of that money from the budget for the highway uh, transportation fund. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, I think basically when you reduce the price and you do nothing to encourage increased production, I think you're basically just going to continue to have inflation. It's kind of like when the government um, subsidizes the cost of education or subsidizes the cost of medicine. Basically, when the government subsidizes anything, what happens? The price comes. <laughs> goes up unfortunately and I think that's simply what's going to be the case here is that um, you're going to have people like oh all of a sudden the price went down you know 13 cents a gallon I can go ahead and buy more well without additional capacity the people who are buying more then you know it's a supply and demand thing then the prices are going to have to go up because you don't have enough production and it's that supply and demand is that pricing 
that helps keep things in check. It helps keep the availability of the product as it gets scarcer because it encourages people to conserve. So there is a good component of higher prices is that it enables it to be available at least in some capacity. It just encourages people to conserve, which of course is what you know the liberals want to do because they want us to use less fossil fuels. And there is there is something you know to that. But here's the problem. Um, one of the other things that they want to do uh, that they've been talking about is price caps. Price caps were tried in uh, the 1970s. And what price caps does is it basically just in, ensures that you're not going to have the product at all. Because when the company can't make money, I know you want to say, well, they're just profits. Well, regardless, if the company can't make money, then they're not going to sell in that market. And um, all of our gas and oil companies, they are multinational and the whole world needs gas and oil. So what happens if uh, America says you can't charge over this amount? Well, then all of a sudden those companies are going to be like, well, we can't afford to do business there anymore. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ship it to the com countries that can pay us for it. So not going to, to really be a good outcome for us. <laughs> Oh, anyhow, we need to pray for our leaders because they need some serious discernment here and God needs to provide it. There is nothing else that can be done. Um, God needs to work on, on these uh, on these leaders and we need to pray for them that, that they, they, they come to some wisdom. Anyhow, I am um, traveling right now. I'm uh, heading from California out to um, Maryland for the week. Pray for me. We are selling a building out there that uh, that we've been renting for the last couple of years, and uh, we're selling it at auction on uh, next Tuesday, June 28th. So could really use some prayers uh, that we get the right uh, right bidders in place, and that the right person wins it at the right price, whatever that may be, Lord. Um, that it be a blessing to, to someone new. But um, yeah, with this economy going the way it is. I really wish I could have done this about six months ago, but, uh, you know, God's timing is perfect, so I just trust in the Lord. Anyhow, God bless, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.